Alright, it's the next day now and I finally got some sunshine so I can show what this piece looks like after the crazy overshot I got off it last night. There it is, pretty wild. So yeah, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely thinned it down where I wanted to. You know, I got off all of that, but then it bit in real deep, probably because of the flake I took the opposite way, you know, messed with things a little bit. But I skinned off this silvery layer pretty cool here so maybe i can you know pressure flake that down into a point that has the the silver sheen in it anyways small piece there and then yeah you can see i don't know it's pretty weird but you can see where it bit in like i definitely put a little too much force into it i think i built my platform up too heavy, too square, and just really went into it. So it dove in down here. You can see where the the waves oh, focus, where the waves started rippling right here. I think because there was you know a spot from the other side where it was messed up a little bit, and then it just dove in and took the whole took the whole edge off. So yeah, pretty interesting. Um, yeah, I'm just going to carry on. I'm going to start the indirect stage of things right now. So, everything on camera as I always say but never quite do exactly um, yeah I'm kind of in the shade so okay let's see how that goes I'm gonna keep these two in the background this is the over here is the rainbow obsidian. It's kind of a pastel, you know, light rainbow. And then over here is the root beer chert. I'm going to run a community vote to see which one you all want me to nap next after this one's done. a little too steep for indirect flake there.
Here we go. I found the found the next silver layer. Is that showing up on camera? There maybe? Yeah, it's in there. I'm gonna try and chase that. For the final face. Hopefully keep some of that silver visible. I don't know what type I'm going to make, what point type, but... First I gotta get, get this edge sorted out. After that step fracture, it's pretty messed up.
that wrong. That was unfortunate. Done that. <laughs> well, that happens. <sighs> yeah, whatever. I'll turn these into something. And maybe these off camera, and then I'll show them, and then I'll finish up this series and move on to those beauties. It's been raining out a little bit, but I got a, a bit of light now, so I'm gonna do this. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's three weeks later, exactly. September 27th today. Um, yeah, took me a little while to get back in the mood after breaking this piece. So, didn't get these done right away. But yeah, worked on them here and there over the last couple weeks and got them finished. So this is a little kind of my first attempt at a trihedral point. This, you know, I made off the, uh, the, the distal end of that big overshot flake I got. It's not great, but it's pointy on both ends. So yeah, can do something with that. This was an attempt. Um, you know, this can be even used as a little drill or something. Hafted pretty easily into a, you know, cane or something. Socketed haft. Anyways, this is my attempt at a little Snyder's point. I don't know if the... The silver's not showing up too great. No, that's not bad in this light. Anyways, I was able to capture a, a good amount of it in these pieces. We've got, you know pretty good thin regular profile going I think um, some decent flaking patterns this is a, a little high low point I made kind of a representative point in my area of the the late paleo period it's a concave base point almost like a, a really small Dalton but yeah pretty much the earliest point you can find in in southern Ontario, besides a proper Clovis or something really rare. Yeah, a little high-low point, pretty cool. And then a small little Cahokia point on that really small flake. We got a really good amount of silver in that piece. So, yeah. Kept a good amount of the silver sheen in all these pieces, I think kind of cool um, yeah I'm gonna auction off these pieces I'll do a separate video for that but I don't know I might auction them off separately you know as four different items or just all together as one lot I don't know maybe if you guys have any opinions you can put them down in the comments section here and then I can incorporate that into the, the actual auction video that'll come out in a few days probably Okay, well, before I drop these, 
that's enough for this one. Too bad I broke this piece, but I'm gonna work on my big root beer biface next and hoping for good things there. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.